Hello, I'm Entrilism and welcome to Waffle Trading Company. So, you may have seen my impressions on this so far. If not, there's a video for that. Uh, I'll go through basically all the explanation of how the game is and how it works in there. If you haven't seen that the TLDR is, it's basically an economic RTS where you try and buy out other corporations trying to colonize Mars and you basically exploit the resources that are there and other people. So, for this, let's just pick a single player mission. We'll generate a random mission up and then we'll go into it. Alright, um, yeah, we'll just do quick play. Right, so we're going to play with three other AI. We'll do it on employee difficulty. I tend to win about maybe 60% of the time on employee difficulty. I'm not massively good at it yet. Uh, I need to put more hours in. I've only got about 9, 10 in there so far. Um, normal resources, terrain type random, and all the defaults are good. Okay, shall we go and play the game? Now, I will be explaining some of the stuff as we go along, for those of you who haven't seen the... Uh, you know, the full explanation. I'm going to pause the game as well quite a lot and uh, be able to talk about all the different things that we're doing. So we do have ice. I have no idea if it's dry ice or not. I would love to know if it was dry ice at the beginning of the game because that really does affect your strategy. Um, right, so there's something there. Low levels of silicon found. Okay, so silicon. High levels of water found. Water. Water. More water. Low levels of aluminum found. One. Low One aluminum. Of carbon found. Aluminium. God damn it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this? God damn it, it's water. That's yeah, probably going to be all water. More water. Wow. So we're not going to be short of water in this game. Water's not going to be the way to go. Please, do something good. Levels of iron found. Medium iron and carbon. Levels of carbon found. This I would like. There's so much water on this map already. One silicon there. I, I personally, I love the robot race. But I don't think on this map they're going to be the right choice. Now, normally I go robots when it looks like water's going to be contested because robots don't need water. They don't need food, which you grow from water. Uh, all that sort of stuff. But in this map, it looks like we're fine for water. So it's probably going to be expansionist. I'm not a massive fan of scavengers or scientific yet. And expansionist is sort of the default there. They're very generic. It's probably the best way to play it to show you off the uh, the game. Let's get ourselves another search. Okay. Probably gonna have to start putting down soon. More carbon. Water. Let's hope that'll be something good. Ooh, ooh, this could be important. Medium levels of aluminum. I want, to, I want to get this one as well. High levels of carbon. Carbon. Found. Okay. And unpop this and then I'm gonna drop down. Water. Okay, screw it. Right, so what do we have for starting? That's probably going to be water over there. So we've got a tiny bit of iron, tiny bit of carbon, a lot of carbon, and water. It might be a scavenger play. We could play scavenger onto the carbon. This this is a, probably a good point to do a scavenger. For instance, uh, expansive, you probably want to put down on something like the aluminium. Get 110 aluminium off the, off, straight off the bat. I mean, looking so far at the map, there doesn't seem to be a massive amount of iron. There's only three things we've discovered on the map of iron, and one of them is a double iron, and another one is iron and carbon. So, getting like domination on hold on top of that uh, that iron really will help. So what we could do is we could place down as scavenger. I think scavenger would be really the way forward because it means you don't need to have steel; you just need iron. Problem is, steel is actually worth a lot of money. So I'm probably going to go for expansive, and then try and dominate the uh, the steel production on the map. So I'll probably want carbon, iron, aluminium. Now there probably is more uh, iron on the map, but it's going to be a shortage of it. So I'm I'm not going to basically go. Oh, I have to dominate all the iron. Scavenger would be really useful here. Carbon straight off the bat. Carbon and iron straight off the bat. I mean, that would really cut down the amount of iron we could get. I think this is probably the right play. Not certain, but it seems to be a reasonable play. Let's do it. Going scavenger now. I'm not as used to the scavenger. 
Let's get those ships unloaded and see what we can use. Right, immediately pause. This colony isn't going to build itself. High levels of silicon found. Right. I definitely want the iron. Silicon. Where's the silicon? Where did, where did we find that silicon? Here. Okay. That might be worth getting at some point. What do we need to upgrade? We need... Aluminium. Carbon and glass. Right, so we will need car uh what's it called? We will need uh glass. So this is actually not a bad play. If we go immediately aluminium here for the two. Carbon and glass. Do we need iron for anything? Some of the buildings need iron. But I don't think we ever need steel. I will have a want to be able to dominate in the realm of carbon. Now let's just check if this is dry ice. It doesn't look to be. It must be constructed on dry ice. It must be okay. So it's just generic ice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try and dominate on top of this carbon here. It's only a two, but we do need it. What else have we got? We have one claim left. I can upgrade immediately, so that's not too much of an issue. It will just cost us money. Um, we'll need water. Is this the free near our base? It's probably a good plan. Water is fairly cheap at the start, and there are plenty of places to pick from for water, so I'm not sure I should go water straight away. How much does it cost? Sure, we can afford that. And then we could do an upgrade straight away? It may not be the prettiest looking Straight upgrade, into an upgrade right off the bat. Is it efficient? You should be proud of our guys. Taking a lot of carbon. That's fine. And we can get a silicon mine? Yes, we can. It costs us money because we don't have the carbon to do it. But get straight onto that three silicon. Scientific colony founded. The question is where we get Scientific our claims in time. Colony founded. Colony founded. Okay, so someone else has gone scavenger recognizing the, uh, the benefits. It looks like they might be going for this carbon here. I really want to cut them off if possible. The question is which carbon is he going for? Looks like this one here. So if I can cut this carbon off. How much does a carbon mine cost? 30 carbon. Now, I could cut him off. And it will really frustrate his supply of carbon. Basically, that will really stimmy that one for the entire game. Mr. Launch. If I cut his supply of carbon off, he can't upgrade his base without buying it. And I can cause an artificial bubble, effectively restricting the entire supply of carbon on the map. And I do need a lot of carbon. Now, of course, the best thing to me is to place it here and get the uh, the bonus of having side by side. Honestly, I'm not sure it's worth it, though. Uh, there's a bit too much carbon if you do that. There's one, two... Yeah. So let's place our extra carbon and focus on expansion rather than kicking someone in the, the nads this early on. So there's the extra iron I was talking about expecting. It's very low levels of it. Achieving thermal vents. Geothermal useful. vent here, next to ooh, high amount of silicon, more iron down here. Nothing crazy in terms of iron, but probably worthwhile still going for that, what we did. Um, carbon aluminium for the geothermal. I probably will want to go geothermal fairly early, but we're okay in it for now. We've still got two claims left. Got to pay my debt immediately. <laughs> for you early on, but I also want to be able to get the glass, which will cost me carbon to make, and these oxygen and silicon. At least I'm going to have the silicon being made. There's a couple of geothermals down here. Okay, provided I don't ignore them, we should be okay. So our stock price is a good one higher, because we were already upgraded ridiculously early. Worth it. Completely worth it. Dominating the carbon landscape is going to help as well. I'm thinking if we go carbon, we could probably go in for the chemical lab, which requires carbon and fuel to run. So we need to go fuel, and carbon will allow us to then make chemicals. Chemicals can be used to get patents. Probably a really good idea. 
freelance pirates. Oh my god, yes, pirates. I love pirates. I can shut down their entire carbon run. Basically, this guy will be out of the game. I will race higher. I won't go above eight. Do you want to buy it for eight? No. Okay, yeah, that's that's out of my price range. Now, if they cut my comes plus, I'm screwed. I'm just going to have to hope they don't. So. To see where these pirates turn up. Haven't seen them thus far. How doing for carbon? We're actually getting a lot of carbon. We can probably set up a geothermal fairly early. Which I would very much like. Still haven't seen the pirates around. Those guys are all producing uh, carbon. These All these black shipments are carbon. So any minute now, we should be able to produce ourselves. My debt's going up. Yeah, we'll be sorting that soon enough. The black market is on Bam. Line. Pause. Immediately get ourselves a geothermal vent. Probably here. I don't care about this position. This position, I can always go for that next door. Not that it'll really do any bonus, other than the fact that it'll be nice to look at, or probably easier for enemies to EMP. Shortage soon on energy, and I'm just building energy? Oh, maybe I should cancel this. No, it's not worth it. Actually, sorry, shortage is good. It means the price is going up. No one's doing this. This is a random event, so we're okay. But it's going to cost us money in the short term. Like, look at our debt going up. For our second one, I'm probably going to say... Go electrolysis. It'll cost us water. But I think it's uh, probably a, a safe a safe bet to go with electrolysis. And I will place it... They've gone for water as their starting location. There's still enough water on the map, even though they've started on that. Go here. Okay, so with uh, electricity being that high price, we're actually making a deep amount of money. Should see our debt dropping kind of dramatically. Now, of course, energy is going to go down in price slowly. Because it was artificially jacked up because of that uh, surplus. It's a bit of a shame that you don't get music in the game, by the way. Surplus soon. Now, we get this warning, by the way, because we're scavengers. We get a good warning in the black markets. I like the fact we're getting a surplus again. Is it surplus? No, we want a shortage. No, surplus bad. God damn it. Price is dropping. Oh, well. These things happen. How are we doing on this one? We need more glass. Uh, we have no way of really getting glass. We don't have a claim. If I could make money, I could purchase a claim using the black market. I don't think we've got anything that's actually valuable enough. I mean, steel's the, fir the first real valuable commodity in the game, but because we're not going steel, because we don't need to upgrade our base, that really means that we're early game, we're fairly strapped for cash as scavengers. Which is annoying. Mm. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Pirates spotted. Oh god, they're putting them in the right place. Auction plot. Geothermal? View plot? It's that one there. That's okay, I don't need another geothermal. But yeah, they've done exactly what I suspected they do. They've put pirates down here, trapping our... Uh, carbon convoys. Really frustrating. Uh, we should still get a couple of them through and we are actually fairly okay for carbon, even if they shoot down a lot of our carbon. We've got so much stockpiled. But still, it's very annoying. Oh, I'm Six, thousand, Yeah, keep bidding. Seven, thousand, eight, thousand. I don't mind. Keep bidding. Come. No, 8,000 is fine. Scientific colony expanded. Okay, so I actually want to get to the next level as soon as possible. I'll need money for glass, though. Iron shortage. Uh, I probably need to keep the iron. Can't sell that. What can I sell? Um, could sell probably some silicon. I've lost 20 carbon so due to piracy. God damn you. Upgrade. Not a bam. Problem. We'll have this done in a jiffy. I just need to locate some spare parts. And I'm going to get glass making down. Very much worthwhile. So what else do we want to do? We definitely want to get some food down. That'll take us some glass, but hopefully we can sort that in a minute. Debt's creating interest, but that's fine. It's not too bad a debt. I think getting maybe an early chemicals will be a little bit down for fuel. We've lost more carbon. Good damn it. Those guys are annoying. I know electrolysis reactor. 
Should get some more fuel because we're currently running short on fuel. Then we'll need food and then we'll have one slot left. We can always put the uh, the chemical thing with that one slot or we could use it something down here. Raise the price of a few things, get some more money. Mutiny in the geothermal plant. Ah! You cunning bastards. So we're short on cash at the moment. Now we're losing more carbon. God damn it. Uh, at least we've got plenty in the, the stockpile. I've got 200. Okay, that's a lot of uh, steel working over there. That's because they're scientific. They don't need to put down iron. They don't need the intermediate step. They can just put that down and make steel immediately. This mutiny is really frustrating. It's causing our... Yeah, look at our debt. Electronic shortage. Electronics is going up in price. You need aluminium, carbon, silicon to do that. We can actually do that. That would be another one to go in for. Expended. Scavenger is up to level 3. As I suspected, scavengers are playing out a lot better than the scientific on this map so far. <sighs> right. I think we need food. I'm currently paying a reasonable amount of food. Actually running at a loss for uh, water at the moment. We're actually going down by 0.3 units. Which is fine because water is actually really, really cheap and we've got plenty in our stockpile. Um, I think food. Food is reasonably priced. Although it might be worth expanding our power supply, actually, if this is going to be that annoying. I mean, power's fairly cheap at the moment, but... I'm losing so much carbon. God damn it. Hmm. Power surge killed off all the steel working, so that'll be probably from Mr. Launch killing them off. We're losing more piracy. Mutiny in the metal mine. You plot. Where is this? Carbon there. I don't want that. I can't really afford it. I'm a debt of 10,000 already. Where's this mutiny going off? Another 30 seconds. 10,000, you can have it, Mr. Launch. Mr. Launch is like, oh my god, carbon, yeah, totally need that. Dude, carbon is pretty... Like, as soon as you've got a couple down, you're pretty plentiful on that one. I think we're fine. Right, we're okay for fuel now. Just. Chemicals takes a lot of fuel, though. Mutiny nearly done. There we go. Ha! Ah, take that power surge. Right, so we're getting power again. We're actually getting surplus, which is nice. Okay, now the question is where we're going to put these last two claims. Debt's getting a little bit high. I'm a little bit concerned about that. We need to start making something that we can sell. And maybe glass is the solution short term. Electronics will cost us glass to make. How much glass have we got at the factory? We've also got 50. I'm going to ship that, actually. And as soon as that gets to its destination... Dust Storm. What's Dust Storm do? I have no idea what Dust Storm does. Hmm. Okay, come on. I'm waiting for the glass to get there and then we can start buying things. The upgrade will cost us a lot of glass. Don't think I'm ready for that. Right, yeah, I've got my claims. I don't need to upgrade. Here we go. Glass, 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 glass. Is that a glass? Yes, it is. Okay. So we can build the patent office. That's no good without cams. So I'm going to build some cams and I will put them... They require lots of fuel. I could put them there, but that puts them at risk of uh, an EMP. Ah, uh, cams. You also need carbon. I could put them in the carbon crater. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Okay. And that's going to cost us a lot of fuel. We're getting, actually getting only 0.5 fuel, and that's going to make uh, cost minus one fuel. So, probably have to build another electrolysis thing. But the problem is, I don't really want to. Uh, with my last one, I actually want to go for something like a patent lab. And be able to use those chems. Problem is, I don't think we're going to get enough chems to really utilize the patents office early on. So, we've got to go for something that will turn us a nice profit. And I think maybe an electronics factory would. How much carbon are we making at the moment? Plenty. Aluminium, plenty. Silicon, plenty. Okay. It's a bit risky putting these all in the one place, actually. What else can we run this off? Uh, aluminium, 
put next to the aluminium mine. Well, it would involve putting actually on aluminium itself. Um, or carbon or silicon. Carbon, we're already taking the area. Silicon, we've already got the glass making there. I think that the choice here is pretty obvious. It has to go on top of the aluminium. I don't mind this that much. We've got plenty of aluminium. I can put it here and we can actually expand later if need be. At least it's fairly close to the base as well. Scientific colony expanded. Okay. Miss Research is really falling behind. Stock price is fairly low. Why? Why are you falling behind? Hmm. Intriguing. First electronics factory is founded. Getting there with the chem lab. I think what we'll do is we'll go patents as soon as we've got, you know, a decent amount of chem on the next level. And we'll start painting some, some good stuff. Hopefully there'll be something decent in there. Teleportation might be a reason we want to get. Are there any geothermals? I don't think there are any geothermals left. So, right, all power from now on is probably going to have to be solar panels or something. Maybe wind turbines. Possibly wind turbines. But there is enough uh, area in the high upper like latitudes and stuff that I think maybe solar panel would be the way forwards. There we go. There's a deficit of fuel. We definitely need to increase our farms as well. How much is a claim? 16,000. Fairly expensive. I really should buy some claims through that very early on. I tend to forget it. Ugh. I'm a bad, bad person. Hello, claim. I really want a claim. I don't think I'll go over eight. No. There we go. It's out my, it's out my reach. I'm tempted to push it up, but I won't. So. Okay. And I think this is a good point to uh, end it for this episode. I'm gonna split this into a couple of episodes because the games can go on fairly long. It looks like we've got a fair distance to play so far. So pause it. I will catch you in the next episode, which will be up oh, whenever. I might do a couple on the same day if my internet connection can handle it, especially since this game just came out and I'm playing a lot of it. But looking at the map, I'm thinking we're not in a terrible position. I mean, the stock price is certainly higher. And we're now getting this should be a shipment of carbon. Okay, so how are we doing for electronics? I'm actually making electronics. As for chemicals... Got 10 chemicals already, and as for glass, we've got 36 in the bank, and we've got about another 60 ready to ship, which should be our upgrade, so that's actually going to be very useful for us. Anyway, I'll catch you next episode. I've been there listening. If you've liked, like, especially with it being a new series, and in fact, a new game for Let's Plays on my channel, uh, then like to, you know, show the support and, you know, tell me that I should keep doing it, if so. And if you're not subscribed and you, of course, you want to see more, and especially you want to see the end of the episode and you're not subscribed, uh, then subscribe because, you know, that way it'll be pushed to your sub box and stuff. Although, that's only in theory. So there's that. Anyway, stay shiny.